Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newcubio.com. That's our website. It's our Cubio blog. We have great articles and uh, free video tutorials. So if you think this video is helpful to you, you may want to subscribe to our YouTube channels. We have two channels, youtube.com forward slash PP controller and youtube.com forward slash QuickBooks Cubio. So that's the one you're watching right now. Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about track billable expenses and items as income, as income in a single account or multiple accounts. Okay, that's the focus of this video. Uh, so I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online right now. Okay, in here. All right, so I'm going to go to uh, gear icon in here. Here's the gear icon and account and settings and if you click the expenses and here's the one I'm talking about make expenses and items billable if you click it here you will see track billable expenses and items and income in a single account or multiple accounts so what does that mean okay so that's 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 the one I want to uh, explain it to you okay so in a single account uh, you you have uh, let's say you have a uh, uh, different types of uh, uh, income and it will still go to the same account one account if it's a billable uh, expenses either from the uh, uh, when you enter it expense in uh, either category details or item type it will still go to the same uh, income account okay but let's say you want to, to uh, go to multiple accounts you know you have uh, one reimbursable expense for traveling and you want to see that one goes to one account and you have let's say service contract and you want to see uh, that one goes to a different account then you select a multiple accounts okay so let's just sort of start with the single account in here okay uh, and uh, Let's just go to the uh, expenses again. Okay, so in here, so single account in here. So if you go to the advanced, you will see you can edit. Uh, if you're a single account, you can edit where you want this incomes set up. So you just select whatever you can. You put some service income or whatever account you want. Okay. And now let's just change this to uh, multiple accounts in multiple accounts okay and you set up and you save this now it's a default one you can change it here to default one okay uh, so now uh, you can select uh, any uh, any income account you want uh, to track your billable expenses okay so I'm gonna show you uh, what's happening now now if you go to the chart of accounts go to chart of accounts okay and you click new and let's say you have uh, expenses okay and uh, let's just say cost of goods sold in here and this is let's say this is for the uh, uh, for, let's just say cost of sales cost of labor in here so you, you'll see the use for billable expenses and you can select where do you want this income to go uh, and this comes from the billable expenses side okay so I've already already done for a couple of items in here let's just say for example uh, the contractors okay uh, you, you you have a service uh, con service business and uh, and you use contractors you send out contractors to do the job all right let's just say edit in here so you can see you know the billable expenses in here cost of labor bill of expenses okay if you want you can select to let's just say I want to go to service income okay save and close and let's say you have uh, uh, other inc other expenses like say travel okay and you, you need to send this uh, contractor to this uh, job site and they have some travel expenses and you need to reimburse it uh, you want to reimburse it uh, you send out invoice all right so travel reimbursement and let's say this one goes to billable expense account 
okay uh, so there's a this is how it works okay so I'll just start with the right now the scene here okay I'm gonna run a report in here profit and loss report I'll show you how this thing works okay this is the setup for today only today is blank there's nothing in there okay so uh, uh, I'm gonna enter some uh, charges in here all right so okay I'm gonna use expense so this is you're gonna pay some contract work on some uh, project and you're gonna pay the contractor this is Amy Levine is your contractor and so worked on uh, some project okay I'm gonna select let's say uh, cost of labor contractors all right you say you paid five thousand dollars to this person okay and you don't want to you can make it either billable depending upon you know uh, type of contract you here all right so uh, in this case let's just say you have a service contractor contract with this com with some with a customer and uh, you just send out fixed uh, invoice for like ten thousand dollars let's just say and you hire this uh, contractor and do the job and you pay five thousand dollars and let's see how it works all right I'm just gonna select one customer in here all right let's just say uh, project 101 in here and the class is a commercial okay I'm just gonna save this okay I'm gonna invoice this customer on a monthly basis let's say for the service contract this is a service all right service services okay and uh, uh, let's just say ten thousand dollars okay save and close so now if you look at your PL, I'm gonna re rephrase this. You should see uh, ten thousand dollars is your service income and your contractor's uh, expense is five thousand dollars. So far you have a five thousand uh, uh, gross profit or contribution margin on this ten thousand dollars income. Okay, so let's do another one. Okay, now you have some reimbursed expenses. okay so select the same person here uh, 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 Amy uh, well let's say you you use uh, another uh, you paid credit card company okay so this is for the travel travel okay so five hundred dollars travel and uh, it, let's say this is the same project okay let's say five hundred dollars is billable you want to bill back to your customer and let's say there's another travel which is uh, non billable let's say this is four hundred dollars and this is non billable uh, you can't bill this back to a customer but its cost is incurred let's say the same customer okay I'm gonna save this so you have basically a nine hundred dollars total uh, travel expenses related to this uh, customer project save and close okay so if I refresh this PNL you should see nine hundred dollars additional cost in here or nine hundred dollars now let's just invoice uh, this five hundred dollars back to your customer okay so invoice you can just do it from here or from the project itself in here this invoice all right so five hundred dollars just add in here let's just say pass on uh, expense there's no markup involved or anything okay save and close okay so now as you can see here you already have uh, 
uh, income statement, sort of, uh, you know, overview of the uh, income from this project already. If you run the project, profit and loss, so you will see the $500 bill of expense from here out of the 900 uh, total expense. Okay, so that's how the uh, single account or multiple uh, uh, accounts works for billable expense selection. Okay, so that's the focus of this video. And now if you look at the projects, you can do it from here too. It'll go to the same place actually. So you know here, so 10,500 is your income, $3,900 is your cost on this one, and $4,600 is your profit, right? And if you run the project reports, you will see the same thing, you know, it takes you to the same place actually. Okay, and uh, so you can run, you can see the transactions as well. All the transactions in here, right? Okay, so that's the focus of this video. I uh, hope uh, this video is helpful to you. Yeah, be, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels. We have all kinds of free video tutorials. Thank you again. Bye.